Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay, who's going to be general messages for the sign of Taurus in the month of May 2019. What's going on, Taurus? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. All right, guys, right off the bat, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, Taurus, I hope you guys are having a wonderful birthday. Uh, if you celebrate the day, the week, the month, the year, I don't care. I hope it's fabulous for you. Uh, and of course, I did say it in April, but happy belated to those who were celebrating at the end of April. I'm technically still recording this in April, so for those May babies, I'm like speaking to you from the past. I'm, ooh, I'm a ghost. Not really, obviously. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have uh, an amazing birthday celebration surrounded by people who love you and that you love back and it's fabulous. And if you're eating cake, have a slice for me. If you're drinking drinks, toast one up for me, okay? All right, Aries. Or excuse me. I just did Aries. I apologize. So they're still on my tongue. All right, Taurus, <laughs> I've shuffled off camera. That's your main spread there. I'm going to shuffle now for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the table, that is when the reading begins. If you want to jump ahead, there will be a timestamp in the description box below. Also down there is the information you need if you want to get a personal reading with me. Uh, I would suggest booking that reading sooner rather than later, especially if it's for your birthday, uh, <laughs> because come June, uh, the price for that reading will go up. I will be introducing two different types of readings that I offer out to the public, uh, but then actually the price for that big, bulky, massive, very detailed reading that I already do is going to go up to compensate, okay? So just a little shout out there, shout out announcement <laughs> there for you guys about that okay all right guys let's get your outcome for may all right show me taurus's outcome for may 2019 taurus's outcome for may 2019 please wow onto the ground wow this was just on the bottom of the deck like several times interesting oh and you got a sidewinder here which way for Taurus, please? Which way? Mm. Like that. Okay, thank you. Hey now. Look at you guys coming up there. Alright, let's flip this over, see what's shaking. The down. Alright, guys, let's see what's going on. Please show me Taurus's energy, or excuse me, please show me Taurus. In May 2019. Please show me where Taurus is in May 2019. Please show me Taurus in May 2019. Please. Hmm. Okay. Is that right? Again, one more time, please. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Because it, it was a little weird. I was like, did you mean that? Did you, you know, whatever. All right, guys, coming into May, you come in with the Queen of Cups in reverse. I'll show you this card upright so you become used to it. Water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might be dealing with one of those signs, but it does not have to be. Nah, you got it in reverse. That's a little disturbing or sad or not as optimal as we want it to be because when the Queen of Cups is in reverse, Watch out, guys. She can be a moody lady, petulant, or 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 in insubordinate in some cases. So some of you might be acting up at work. Mind your p's and q's. You don't want to get fired out here in this economy. Um, <laughs> but there's this idea of like being unsatisfied. Okay, being absolutely dissatisfied or unsatisfied with whatever your circumstances are. Um, feeling withdrawn. Feeling out of place emotionally, out of whack emotionally, uh, dis uh, in uh, imbalance, thank you, that's the word, imbalance emotionally, and just kind of like not having your head on straight, okay? Now that's how you come into this. Now that's interesting because I don't feel that this is an everyday occurrence. I don't feel that you wake up every day, look at yourself in the mirror, and you see Eeyore reflected back to you. Good morning, Taurus. 
what's so good about it? You know, I don't see you being dreary all the time, but I do see you being dreary or, or like I said, unsatisfied or, or disappointed even in certain facets of your life or in a particular area in your life, perhaps even a, in a particular relationship in your life. So there's this idea that mm, you got to mind yourself because I feel that this is under your control and, and, and it's going to sound kind of easier said than done, but that's sort of sometimes the way tarot is like, that's the challenge is I, as a reader, just tell you, and you're sitting there going, you know, arms folded in front of yourself. <laughs> and you think it's so easy. No, I don't. And I don't think tarot ever really says it's easy because we are dealing in this 3d experience where life just comes at you from all sides all angles and you can have the most positive disposition in the world you could do your affirmations every day but if you walk outside and you got a flat tire you go son of a bitch now what you know so that's what i'm getting at is like there's some thing or some occurrence or some you know sort of random things that happen to you that shape you or or, or challenge your ability to turn this frown upside down okay so like i said it's easier said than done because i just gave you a nice little cliched phrase that we've all heard at some point in our life turn that frown upside down shut the fuck up it's not easy like you you know so some of you are like not necessarily having combative energy but you might have sort of this irritability about you especially with the queen of cups in reverse now the reason I'm talking a little bit at length about this whole it's easier said than done is because I don't think you're going to stay here. I don't think that you, that's right, you're not going to stay here. Like I said, I think this pops up in moments or it is isolated to a specific area or relationship in your life where you're just like, mm. you're, you're indignant about it or you're sad about it or you're frustrated with it and you're kind of just like... I don't know what to do. I'm pulling my hair out dealing with this person or I don't know what to do. I'm stressing myself to death thinking about this money or thinking about the debt I have or thinking about uh, the move I have to do. Whatever you're worried about, whatever consumes you that gives you this Queen of Cups reverse energy, I feel is mostly isolated. It's mostly contained. And the the issue here for you, Taurus, is that it, it does kind of pull at your energy, energy source. It, it does kind of distract you from other things in your life that are actually satisfactory that you're actually enjoying but you keep having to refocus on something that doesn't give you joy doesn't bring you pleasure kind of you know like i said gives you anxiety or stresses you out and you're just like oh, here we go again you know so interesting so you start off there where are we going next that was nice and that was simple i like that right oh right there yes Okay, right. So that's kind of interesting that I said all that thing about movement because you've got the Knight of Wands right above you. So talk about movement. This 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 young lady is about to jump out that airplane. Interestingly, because there's like a little canary or something out there too. And I don't think, I'm pretty damn sure a canary can't fly up that high. <laughs> I know they can. Why am I saying pretty sure? I, I know a little bit about science. Anyway, so there's this idea of, of taking flight, you know, or, you know, pun intended and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, like I said, this is isolated or if it's not isolated, it's something that you have have had extensive experience with lately. Now, lately can be the last couple of weeks, months, years. That's the, you know, time is very relative. So this could be something that you've sat in for a few days and you're just like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to be feeling like this during my birthday. I'm not going to be feeling like this throughout my week. No. If some of you, this has been years long that you have been in this doldrums, that you've been in this e or space, that you've just been like not able to shake the shake the blues off or shake away uh, your less than positive disposition, okay? Regardless of how long you've been there, you get this Knight of Wands. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to leave this bullshit behind. I'm ready to turn that frown upside down. And there's a fervor that comes with the Knight of Wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? So there's this bolstering to your confidence. There is this fire up under your butt that is just encouraging you to move, to go, to go, to go, okay? So some of you, it is literally moving. You are literally getting up and moving homes. You are moving jobs. For some of you where I, for a second, got like this insubordinate thing some of you are just like i can't take it here anymore these people are driving me crazy or i can't take this work anymore it's not fulfilling and you're just like out the door now the caveat to this knight of wands energy 
is that you don't want to be too hasty. The Knight of Wands can be hasty. The Knight of Wands can get ahead of themselves. But the inspiration is there, and that's the important part. Your motivation is not daunted or tainted. Your, your motivation is pretty clear. I am upset. I'm not happy. I feel adrift. I feel anxious or angry or sad a lot, and I don't want to feel that way. So if it's having to leave a situation behind, if it's having to leave a person behind, if it's having to leave a certain mindset or attitude behind, you're going to put in the work because Wands talks about physical manifestation and action put to words or action put to, to thought, and you're actually going to get up and do something about it, okay? The issue, of course, would be as a fixed sign, as Taurus, you got to be consistent, okay? So... You know, if you're going to start a gym routine, start it and keep at it. Again, easier said than done. I definitely struggle with that. I haven't been in the gym in months. Okay? <laughs> so I get it. But it's this idea of let's not be flighty and not be, not let's not, you know, have this idea kind of coast on the wind, sort of like this artwork is depicting. Let's put some legs to this thing. Let's put some actual practical steps behind this. Your intention is there. Your motivation is there and even sometimes your impulsive action because the night knights are all impulsive or at least they go off of their whims you know even the knight of pentacles who is the slowest he has a little bit of a i've got a bright idea and he goes out and he like packs a bag he draws up an itinerary you know he calls out everybody you know he he sets up his you know messenger service hey listen i'm not going to be in town for two weeks like he does all that practical shit but it started with a whim the knight of wands is just like i want to go <laughs> right out the door like I didn't intend to drop that card but that kind of is like what it's like you know how in the old cartoons where you know a character you know has to leave quickly and there's like that dust trail or whatever they're holding falls down cartoonishly to the ground like that's I didn't intend to drop that card but the fact that I hope that that makes sense for somebody it's perhaps a synchronicity or perhaps affirmation like that's how quickly you want to change your circumstances okay did I say that? No, I said that in the last reading. I had a Speedy Gonzalez reference in the last reading. And now I'm talking about old cartoons. And there you go. Okay. <laughs> now, what's going on on either side of you? Because it's a lot of shit. In fact, it's heavy. It's nothing but Arcanas. My God, I didn't notice that until just now. Uh, hmm. Have you been tempted? Have you been... You've had a lot of shit going on around you, and you've not been super clear about it either. <sighs> okay, so I feel the... Okay. Ooh! I like that. That's good. Okay. Because the orientations are different. Okay, so listen. That Queen of Cups, her face is going this way. The Knight of Wands, the face is going that way. So we have some different orientations. Now, that's what's... Okay, thank you. So let's talk about what has been, because I think for, again, I think the majority of you, you've been here for a minute. If you've recently encountered this, I don't think you're going to stay here long because I just don't. I just don't think you're going to stay here long. So what you have already encountered, what you have already experienced, or what you are kind of like just one more incident away from dropping the ball on and, you know, getting out of town with is the devil in the moon. So straight to the devil, right? I'm going to assume. Yep. Okay. So, the devil. Card of Capricorn. Might be a Capricorn in your life is of significance, but does not have to be. This is more about, you know, I did mention the word temptation. I'm also feeling uh, like anxiety also. That's weird because, well, anxiety as it's related to some type of power dynamic or power struggle or this aspect of being in control. Perhaps you have felt out of control. Perhaps you have felt as if you haven't had any influence or input in your own life or in your own relationships or in your own uh, situation or, or, or um, circumstances, okay? Uh, there is this idea of feeling attached and maybe that makes you anxious or, or gives you some type of pause, gives you some type of restlessness, okay? But this is this is like the lower bracket so to speak of the devil card of capricorn energy which you know has a lot of different meanings to it, a lot of interpretations but i'm getting mostly this is about temptation and 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 some type of luring or or 
calling out to or, or seduction revolving power or involving power, okay? So someone, like in some cases, undermined you, okay? Took away your power and you didn't even know it, all right? So some people undermined you as in they tricked you, took advantage of you, took you for granted, and in some cases, abused you. Now, if you have been in or are in a physical abuse situation, that's absolutely terrible. You have my sympathies. But at the same time, I encourage you to, as safely as possible, get yourself help, get yourself to a safe space, get yourself around people that you can trust, who can help you and assist you to, to, to be rid of those abusive situations and relationships, okay? And, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be physical. There's all types of abuse and, and ways that people can lord their power over you or strip you of your own power and make you think that you're powerless, right? So be careful out there if you're dealing with things that involve your physical safety or your mental and emotional health, okay? In other ways, kind of to take a step back away from that, where we would be talking about something potentially with work, okay? So... I'm getting people have undermined you at work, taking credit for things that you've done, not giving you credit for the things that you have done, not recognize you for your hard work, not giving you the validation that you need or that you would like, you know, congratulations, validation, recognition, okay? And they've taken the credit for themselves or they've somehow on a group project kind of isolated your con contributions, kind of made it seem like if Taurus didn't do that, we still would have been a success. And you're sitting there like, no, bitch, without me, this shit would have crumbled. So there's this idea of someone knew what they were doing to you and how that was usurping your power, how that was usurping and taking away from your individuality or, or your autonomy or your, your agency, your ability to choose, your ability to move. Because with that Queen of Wands in reverse energy, there is a stuckness there. There is this like circling the drain, like I can't get out of this cycle, like in your mind or in your heart or again, in your daily routine. You might be going to a job that you absolutely loathe, but you are stuck there because uh, also with this Devil card as it's ruled by Capricorn, there is this overtone, overtone of workplace or, or your position in the world, your the sort of how you are present out in the world. And often that's through our work. Often that is through our accomplishments. Capricorn rules that accomplishments, work, due diligence, okay? And if you put your all into that and you don't get any reward back, you don't get recognition back, you don't even get happiness and contentment back, sure, you might be getting paid because there's an aspect of that also with Cap Capricorn and all their signs is having monetary and, 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 uh, material stability you know but there's something underhanded involving this card this energy and why you're upset Taurus why you're not happy there's an underhanded sneaky or sly or just total manipulation total I did say temptation so that could be also there for some of you some of you might have a little bit of guilt some of you might be working a job where I'm not trying to accuse anybody of anything, but you know some of the things that you do in your business, some of the things that your company does in their business is not above board. You might work for an insurance company and you know you should be approving claims instead of denying them because, you know, people want their money, managers want bonuses, you know, board members, they want to see profits. You're denying claims more than you're approving. And that gives you the clout that you need in terms of your money, it secures your money. You know, you get to go on these little vacations or these little team building exercises away or whatever. You reap the benefits in the now, but you know on the tail end of you hitting the, the deny button on somebody's claim, they are somehow less fortunate than you are. And that might trip you up, okay? That's the temptation part. That's, that's all in the devil, whether you want to tie that to a biblical thing or not, is, hey, join me on this, this little cruise ship over here. And they're like, but that cruise ship is on fire. Yeah, but we got mimosas. 
we've got a free seafood bar. Come on. And you're like, oh, but I love clams. I love oysters. Oh, yes, I'm coming. You know what I mean? So there's this idea that the benefits that you may have reaped from a situation do are are coming up to you now, Taurus, and they're not uh, they are no longer outweighing the bad. Okay, now you've got this. Yes, thank you. You've got this Moon card in reverse, right above that Major Arcana card for Pisces. So you might have a Pisces in your life of significance, but you do not have to. And there's the card upright, so you can become used to it. You're you're getting wise to the game. And maybe that's the thing, you know, maybe, you know, you're a new hire at this company and you didn't know of these underhanded sort of shady, you know, you know, skimming, maybe somebody's skimming the books. Maybe somebody's not declaring things properly uh, to the IRS. And you're like, what? We do that here? And they're like, yeah, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, but that's illegal. Or if it's not illegal, I don't want to get caught. And then it turns out to be illegal. So there's this idea in this specific case where it's a workplace situation and it's not above board there is this idea of where you were confused about it before you now are getting clarity because the moon card is coming up in reverse for you okay so the light is being shined okay or shown the light is being shown excuse me or you're waking up to this illusion that you kind of had for yourself towards where it's like you know what it's just a job you know, what I do every day isn't affecting anybody. And then you're like watching documentaries or you're reading articles printed up about your industry or, or even uh, published regarding your specific company. You're like, oh man, this is like almost an expose. I had no idea that I worked for such a pretty criminal or criminal adjacent company and I don't like it. It doesn't sit well with me. So I'm feeling like there's this opening up to, or not an opening up to, but there's the, there's this revitalization or a reconnection with your morals okay and between these two i think that would kind of make sense you know you have the devil with the moon in reverse so there's this idea of what's laid in the dark what transpires in the dark kind of slowly comes out of the dark comes out of the cave now ah oh, what's the other part of this because, like I said, this could be uh, situations or it could be relationships. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. So some of you have had a relationship or you have recently had, like, you're dating recently or you had something longstanding and you're coming to realize, oh my gosh, that I was in bed with the devil, essentially. I was in bed with a trickster. I was in bed with a liar. I was in bed with someone who <sighs> painted themselves to be a certain way and they're no longer that way. Like, I can see now who they are and what they are. And it's disturbing to you because you gave a lot to this person, Taurus. As per, you are a Taurus. You are a lover of love and all that good stuff. So you definitely are having a, a, a pretty rude awakening for some of you. Like, it's a hell of a wake-up call. They lied to you, they cheated on you, they manipulated you, they stole from you in some cases, or they led you down a certain path. Like, this is kind of an interesting part for someone. They led you down an interesting path where you became someone you didn't recognize anymore. And you're like, oh, whoa, I was behaving this way, I was doing these things. And, you know, nobody, people can only, you know, encourage you to do so much. You know, we all co-signed to something at some point in our lives in, in some type of relationship. Yeah. So for some of you, you're coming to this realization about yourself. I deceived myself. I tricked myself. I allowed myself to be manipulated. I sold, I sold myself a bit of delusion or illusion with that moon card when it was in the upright. Okay. When it was at its full power, when it was at like its deepest, most effective point. Now I'm turning away from that. And then we come back out with that knight of wands. That's lovely. What else is there? Anything else? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Mystery. Yeah, you're like tired of the mystery. You're tired of like being sat in the dark, being pushed into the dark. Or like I said, walking yourself through the dark, you know, walking through a maze or like, what do you call those? Um, 
like not a haunted house but I, I guess suppose like a haunted house is mostly dark but it's like you're really like walking down a corridor and your hands are on the walls and you're trying to find this escape you're trying to find this exit because it's been very daunting it's been very challenging it's been very tiring okay because remember i think i said up here there's something about feeling tired or overwhelmed with that queen of cups in reverse and it's just like you're it's not an incredible like anger i feel if you okay there's like this thing no i don't feel it i'm not no like some of you might be really annoyed some of you might be really frustrated but i'm honestly feeling like this break away from the devil because this is an intense energy whatever this is whoever this is is very intense but I do feel you gaining distance from it. And maybe that's why I'm not feeling a lot of anger. Because I think it was a long time coming. Or it was just, you know, you had just enough. Like the taste was enough. The sampling was just enough for you to, you know, pack your bags. And say, no, I can't. I can't deal with this. Or you're in the process of packing your bags. Like, hell no, I'm getting out of Dodge. You guys are going to go down with this ship. I'm not. So I'm not feeling anger. But I do feel like this sort of intensity that might come with anger. So I don't know why I have to talk about this, but you're not angry, but you have the intensity of anger. And maybe that's it. Maybe some of you are like working on releasing this situation with love, releasing this situation without any type of hatred, without any type of resentment, walking away from a very dangerous or a very detrimental person in your life. And you're saying, you know what? You've done some fucked up shit to me, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to be angry with you. Because part of that was on me, part of part of our damage or part of the, the issue of why we were toxic together was because I stayed. So I can't be angry at you for that. I stayed. I chose that. You know, so some of you are having that. So where there is the potential to be angry, where there is this potential to hold a grudge, where there's this potential to <sighs> meet that devil energy where it lies on that low vibrational level, on that lower bracket. You're just like, no, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to escape, ascend out. Oh my God, yes. I'm trying to ascend out of here. And again, just to show you that artwork that's on the Knight of, of Wands. Ascend. Airplane. Okay? What do air, How do airplanes function? They have to ascend to a higher altitude to, to travel, to, to make the progress, to make the journey. So that's what you're doing. You're working on ascending away from that. That's why you're not angry. You got bigger fish to fry. You have a new perspective to, to get into. So that's amazing. I like that for you. Yeah. As we kind of circle out of here, in a way, even though we went up there for, for a second, but we are kind of circling back through that new perspective of the, of the Knight of Wands. And are we going straight there? Yes. Thank you. So straight across that top line, you have the Death card. Major Arcana for Sa or Sagittarius. Major Arcana card for uh, Scorpio. Might be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to. Ugh, the issue here is transformation, as always. Transformation and change with the death card. So some of you, if I'm honest, and I don't call this often, and I don't call it frivolously. I'm not saying it, you know, as if it's not a big deal. Some of you, this change and transformation in the middle of it or as a catalyst point, there might be a literal death. I don't, I don't want to call that frivolously. I don't want to call it arbitrarily or, you know, very casually because I don't know what person or animal I'm getting that could die. That doesn't mean something to you. Like, I, I don't want to, because I'm not feeling it. Like, the loss part. I feel it in my brain, if that makes sense. I'm not feeling it in my heart. I feel it in my brain. Like it's an acknowledgement. It's kind of like, so maybe that's it. If there is someone or, or, or an animal or person or an animal that does die, it could be simple to you. Simple. It could be rational to you or easier to take because that person or animal was, was, was older. Okay. So it's kind of like a, well, we knew this day was coming because, you know, he or she was 108, something like that. <laughs> and, and and please don't take my laughter as some type of dismissal but that's kind of how I'm feeling it now that's for a very small portion of you maybe even one of you and once that death transpires like I said it's like a catalyst point perhaps a releasing point something is is springboarded into action most likely you or 
the the change in your attitude and perspective okay so it for again a small portion of you maybe even just one of you a literal death which is if you think about it a form of change a form of transformation going from living in this 3d space going into whatever you believe in or don't believe in happens after death that is a transformative experience okay so when you witness that when you when that experience comes upon you then you get to go back here and jump out of a plane with that knight of wands maybe literally you know you know literally maybe this is like your great aunt or your grandmother or your grandfather or you know whoever and they're like you know Taurus, don't be like me. If you got things on your bucket list, if you, if there's things that you want to do and you've been holding yourself back, don't live like me. Go out there and live out loud, live boldly, be adventurous. And so with their well wishes, with 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 their sort of commanding you to be bold and brazen, you do go skydiving. Maybe. Maybe. You know? Aunt Jane wanted me to jump out of a plane. I mean, not literally. She didn't say, tell you that. But if that was something that your heart's de that your heart desired, you have Aunt Jane's blessing. Does that make sense? <sighs> if it's not, again, for most of you, it's not a literal death. So this is just something within yourself. You're going through this transformative experience internally. Fortified, I feel, with scorpionic energy, which is like a deep intuitive knowing. So what do I mean by that? So some of you have been wise to this for a while now, maybe even years of your life. Maybe even you've known this since you were a little kid, that at some point I'm going to hit a certain low before I hit a great high. Okay. I feel for some of you, you have some intuitive nature to you that has told you you're going to suffer before you get the glory. Okay. And so this transformation here, this transformative point, this, this transitioning from the low to the high, the low point with that devil energy down in the pits, down in the, down in the gutter to this higher point, to this higher altitude with the Knight of wands. That's not overnight energy. That's not an overnight experience that takes time. That takes effort. That takes fortitude and, 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 and a sense of knowing a sense of believing. Okay. Scorpio is a very complex energy, okay? Very layered, <laughs> okay? You know, very aware, but then also enigmatic, okay? Very, very present, but then also kind of ghostly or, or like, ooh, you know? It's really hard to, for me at least in this moment, to pinpoint how you would utilize that, that energy, so if you are not familiar with the zodiacs and you're not familiar with astrology, maybe read up, maybe consult uh, a different reader or me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Or consult a psychic, an astrologer. I don't know if you've got a best friend who's like really into this shit. Go talk to them. Be like, hey, how do you think Scorpio energy would be affecting me right now? And there might be transits right now with Scorpio that I'm unaware of that could be helpful or beneficial to you or partnership with a certain Scorpio that could be helpful to you or the person of significance who is transitioning out of this world could be a Scorpio. Okay. Um, in, in a few cases, I'm not sensing it, although because they want me to draw to the corners, because sometimes I do that, the corners can speak to each other. It could be that the devil person is a Scorpio for a few of you. And so as you ascend on that, on that airplane going up, you meet them again. You think you got away from them. The universe or they are coming back to test you, to tempt you once more, to challenge you. And then you just sail right by them. And that becomes the transformation. Okay. Is when they came back and they tempted you with an offer. They tempted you with their presence. They tempted you with one last, you know, go on the roller coaster. You're like, nah, man, I'm good. I'm going to be riding on a different ride now. You know what I mean? <sighs> So there would be, in that case, for that group, a detachment from that Scorpio or from that Scorpionic energy, which again can be alluring, can be very seductive and very, I'm here, but then I'm not here, you know? <laughs> so that's that. Now, where you ultimately go, where you ultimately end up is this wonderful starter place, like 
You pass go, collect $200, got the full card, Major Arcana, or excuse me, secondary Major Arcana card for Aquarius, as it's ruled by Uranus, so you might have an Aquarius of significance in your life, but you don't have to. Now, the fool is on a journey, but where the fool is going, nobody knows. Where the fool is going, the fool doesn't care. It's all about new. It's all about now. It's all about, you know, things... Not that things are looking up, but that things are undetermined. And that leaves a lot of room for invention. That leaves a lot of room for creation. I am the maker of my new path. Or or, or whatever new path I choose, I choose it wholly. Nobody's influenced me to go this way. Nobody's encouraged me. Nobody's pulled me down this road. I am going that way because I want to. Okay? I like this for you. Oh, right. And there's some... I'm pretty sure Uranus is in Taurus for the next seven years. I think I've been hearing that, right? And I think it's been there for at least a few months now or the better part of late 2018. I don't know. I, I can't remember when Uranus went into Taurus. Could have been recent or months ago. But Taurus... Having Uranus in your sign basically means this is a whole new revolution in your life, okay? We are setting new paradigms. We are shifting away from what we came to understand as being true, as being sort of reality or sort of what we, what we understood to be the sort of, it was just it. That was it. No, no. Uranus is always about churning I wanted <laughs> what they wanted me to say was churning the butter and I'm like no because that's more like a work ethic kind of thing but maybe that resonates for somebody but there's this churning like oh maybe that's kind of what they meant so you know how when you churn butter or you would for those who remember how you would make how you uh make ice cream or how you made ice cream like way back in the day like you, you get the little hand crank ice bucket, okay? And you're sitting there literally churning ice for minutes, maybe even a half hour, maybe even more. I don't know. <laughs> I did it like once in my life. I can't really remember <laughs> how long it took, but it is a slow process, but it is a tedious process as well. And so that's basically what this fool is saying. Lots of potential, new roads ahead, new destinations. You have no idea where you're going and it will be tedious work. But the fact that it's new, the fact that it's undefined, the fact that it's under your purview, it's under your control. You put in as much as you want. If you want half frozen ice cream, if you want slushy ice cream, fine. If you want half churn butter, fine. If you want very creamy, thick, delicious ice cream, you want creamy, thick, buttery butter, then you're going to churn it a little bit more. The, this full energy is what you make of it, Taurus, okay? You can go as far down that road as you want. I feel most of you are going to want to go the distance. You're going to be challenged along the way. You're going to have pitfalls along the way, of course. And you're going to have temptation come up for you along the way. But if you really want to get across uh, or, or, or move further down the line towards some new destination on a, on a totally new journey, you may do so. You just have to decide how much work you want to put into it outcome wonderful for may the empress card second empress and libra so you might have a another taurus or libra in your life who is significant but does not have to be this is more what i feel you're doing and oh my oh my 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 i don't normally recall my videos <laughs> um but i i did do your mid april and your birthday reading you may check those both out they're on your playlist towards 2019 and I'm pretty sure she came up before, and I'm pretty sure the lower arcana version of this card came up, the Nine of Pentacles. So this is sort of an ask for affirmation for, for those previous messages. This is still in your realm, all right? Having this abundance, having this independence, having this sort of ability to pick and choose your experience, you know? The Empress does not suffer fools. The Empress does not endure anything that she doesn't want to. She might endure some challenges. She might, you know, work with energies or other people that aren't necessarily reciprocal, uh, reciprocal 
or maybe not as open and, and, and abundant as she is, but that's always her choice. She does not walk into a battle that she's not prepared for. So that's what I'm seeing here. You're not going to be, I mean, you will because we all live a day-to-day -day experience. You will at some point be daunted or tired because of again you walk outside you've done your positive affirmations in the morning you had a wonderful breakfast you feel good you woke up on time you didn't hit the snooze button your shower was amazing you walk outside flat tire the empress isn't going to just throw her plans out the window she's not going to abandon how confident and on top of her business she feels because she gets a flat tire She'll be annoyed. She'll be like, oh, damn, it. Uh, I'm going to be late for my morning meeting or I'm going to be late for my appointment. But the quickly she'll realize, but you know what? I got AAA. And you know what else? I have enough money or I have enough, you know, uh, access that I can just take an Uber to work right now. And I'll come back and I'll do with my flat tire when I get off of work or when I'm done with my appointment. Like it's, it's that it's like not being distraught or, or defeated by life's little curveballs or life's little mishaps or life's little, you know, all shucks moments. You know what I mean? She stands and knows that even when I suffer a little bit of a hiccup, I'm still going to win because I already got it. She's already got it. She's, I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> now, this makes sense too. And I think this also came up in one of your previous readings. Pardon me. You have the 10 of coins as your, uh, Overall energy, ten of coins, ten of pentacles, same thing, right? So overseeing this whole situation in your life, this reading and beyond, previous to now and probably throughout the rest of the year, and like I said, with Uranus in your sign for what, seven years? It might be the next seven years. But there is this overall consideration of legacy, of continuing prosperity, yours and other people's but primarily yours you know unlike other tarot decks this ten of coins shows a singular uh figure and the ten of coins or ten of pentacles in other decks is showing like usually family generations long you know parents uh grandparents children etc dogs and <laughs> also in in some of those depictions but this is a this is about you Taurus, in the central uh consideration here Sure, you might have fin friends and family that you're thinking of and how they can contribute or how they fit into your Ten of Coins vision. But I think for this reading, and I think that it's something that you should sort of plant as a seed or kind of always refer back to is, what about me? What about me in my Ten of Coins, my Ten of Pentacles vision? How do I fit in there? Oh, nice. Look at that. Holding the keys. You determine it. You create it. You unlock the doors. You unlock the locks. You walk through whatever doors of opportunity and you make it happen. So there's a lot of... In the, in the interest of, again, prosperity, legacy, long time or long term financial stability, material financial st or material stability, and happiness, contentment long term you hold the key you have the power to create it you have the power to allow people in and you have the power to disallow people entry you can kick people out of your little ten of, ten of cups or excuse me your ten of pentacles club you don't fit the description you're not wearing the right attire not to make it like a materialistic thing not to make it like a really um, um petty situation or a really shallow thing but if somebody's not fitting the literal descriptions of who you want in your life, who you want in your picture of a, of, of a Ten of Cups, or excuse me, again, Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins situation. If someone, if you literally, dating-wise or business-wise or even amongst your family members, if you're like, listen, if you don't have a job or at least some type of strong hustle where you can stand on your own two feet or bring some type of money and stability into your own life, pay for your own bills, I'm not rocking with you. If that's your stipulation, Taurus, you're allowed to have it. You have the keys, you have the power, you are in the driver's seat. So it might sound shallow, it might sound limited, it might sound like you're being a bitch or you're being a hard ass or something like that. And if someone has a disagreement with that, F them, F them. Cause I'm working on me. 
I'm doing this long-term ascension thing or, or I'm coming out of this, this pit with this devil energy and you don't know my, you don't know my journey. You don't know what I've had to do to get to whatever level I'm at or whatever level I'm trying to get to. And if I don't want to rock with people who aren't vibing where I'm vibing, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. So to hell with the naysayers, to hell, to hell with the critics, okay? Taurus, that is your May 2019 reading. If you liked it, you know the deal. There's a like button down below. If you want to leave a comment on the video, let me know how this resonated in your life. I would love to read that stuff. I, I always like to see what you guys say, <laughs> even if you don't say nice things. I'm open to that too. <laughs> but I would prefer nice things. If you're going to say something, please say something nice. <laughs> or give me some, you know... Uh, I don't want to open Pandora's box there. Uh, anyway, uh, you can also share this video across your social media platform. I would appreciate that. Let's uh, other people know what's going on over here on YouTube. And also, if you are not subscribed but you keep coming back, let's just let's just do this. Let's be committed. You subscribe to me, and I keep giving you content. That's that's how we're gonna stay committed to one another. Yeah. So if you've come back a few times, but you've not subscribed before, uh, I would invite you to do so now. But if you don't want to, I totally respect that decision too. You know, I, I'm, I'm easy to please. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Taurus, that is the reading. I will be back in mid 2019, probably with the reading. I've been saying I'm going to do a random, but the mood hasn't hit me. So when it does, though, I will put that up as well. And again, if you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell, you're going to get all of that going for you anyway. You're going to see it when it happens, when it's like uploaded, you're going to get like a little ding on your, on your phone and you could just come and view it. Okay. Taurus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Take care. Bye.